For the first time on her channel, I picked up a major project. For about the fourth time on our channel, there was a problem. Not with the project. I filmed a whole bunch of fixing on this project and got this project running only to have the SD card corrupt. Tried everything. Couldn't get the footage back. So I'm thinking here, what am I going to do? I can carry on, but I got to kind of show you what I got going so far. Maybe I might want to try and show you the project. How about we start with that? Here we go. We got ourselves an Agco Alice 1616H lawn tractor. And yes, it does have the deck. The deck is outside. Now, I did get this thing running. It had been sitting out at Farmer Paul's for quite some time. He has gotten a new one. Now, I did some searching on the internet, and I come up with roughly a 1992 to 1994. Uh, Farmer Paul might be able to correct me on that, but that's, that's what the internet says. Uh, I got this as a project. It's not for me. I'm going to be giving it to someone else, which we're not going to discuss that just yet. But I had to get it running and mowing. <laughs> That's what I had to do. Oh, it does need some work. I mean, it's not in bad shape at all. There's a couple of dings and dents. We're going to polish this back to new. I'm going to fix the seat. I'm going to actually get rid of the rust on the seat. And then I'm going to paint the seat, put a cushion on it. Before we get into all that, let me kind of show you what we got going on. Or what's going on. I'll show you what I've already did. So it is powered by a 16 horsepower Vanguard Briggs and Stratton motor. As you see, we got a starter down here. We obviously have a new battery now. And in there is a solenoid. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh yeah, right, right here is the solenoid. Now when I first brought this home, put some jumper cables on it, because I knew the battery was going to be dead. And all I got was a hard click, and that hard click was coming right under here at the solenoid. The starter wasn't turning, the motor wasn't turning. So I took everything apart. Took all the wires, all the battery wires out, took them off the solenoid, took the solenoid, cleaned everything, put it all back in, and then I went out and bought a new battery. Did it fix my problem? Actually, let me back up. Before I bought the battery, I then took my jumper cables and I jumped directly, where are we here? You can't see, yeah, right there. Directly here on the starter, and the starter turned and the, turned the motor over. So I knew the starter was good and I could hear the solenoid clicking, so it was good, which tells me the battery was bad, it was obviously bad, and I needed some better connections. So, cleaned everything up, bought a new battery that was our problem now we have some extra wires here these wires here go down there to the headlight i've already disconnected all that stuff there um it's got good oil in it but it's going to need an oil change which we're not going to tackle the oil change just yet let's uh fire this thing up and see what happens now i have not done a whole lot of tuning on this at all um i did find <laughs> managed to find a bunch of safety switches one being Right here on the brake, that's got to be pushed completely down. Now, there's no spring return on that, so I'm going to have to fix that. The other one is in the seat I'm sitting on. If you're not sitting on that seat, the safety switch will not go. And, of course, your uh, lawnmower won't start. So, let's see what we got going on here. See here? It says our safety switch is engaged. Eh, I don't know what that means, but we'll figure that out. Fired right up. I was never so happy that I didn't have to rip the motor down. Because that would have just prolonged this project that I don't need to prolong for because grass cutting season is here. So now that we know that it runs, uh, it, it moves. It, as you can see, it moving ahead there. I got to fix a brake. Mount these lights back in here. I'm going to take the hood off, the seat off. I'm going to polish everything up, clean it all up like new. And I have already scraped most of the old grass and grease and stuff off the bottom what i'm also going to do is i'm going to clean up the engine here maybe pressure wash it get everything looking nice so that when it goes where it's going it's a nice running machine 
with no problems there is a rust hole on the deck which is not a big deal i got some metal here i'll cut it out weld the new piece in sand it all down and uh oh and make it look as good as new but so that's where we're at our new project this may or may not be a sign of things to come on our channel because I'm gonna give you a, a quick peek at something else that I just drug home today. She's gonna end up killing me. Hang on. So I get, yeah, I uh, drug home a vehicle today and uh, we're gonna do the same thing to it. That we got going on with this tractor we're gonna fix it up are you there you here there we are we do the same thing to that vehicle that we're doing to this tractor get this thing ready to go and it's going to a new owner and that is getting fixed and it's going to a new owner as well and neither one of them know it's coming and it should be a good surprise really want to work on this outside hopefully it's some nice weather but uh the weather man was not cooperating Good thing that we got the shop cleaned up. You've seen that in some other videos because this thing just fits in here. Not by much, but it'll keep me dry when it comes time to work on it. Unfortunately, we've got a beautiful day here. I can pull it outside, do some work, and then pull it back in, which I might do. Huh. Actually, I think I might do that. I'll back it out, wire wheel the seat, and then we'll get to it from there. <laughs> Maybe you all will get me see me uh, work on the motor. Don't seem to want to start now. My guess is the starter is not engaging. That's exactly how things go. So it would appear, as you just heard it running, I go to start it again. I can hear the starter going, but I don't think the aperture is that what that's called? Aperture? Armature? That thing with the teeth on it is engaging the motor. I could be wrong, but I think that's it. Looks like we might be pulling the starter off. Well, that was completely unexpected. We're going to stick with our original plan. Now that you are kind of up to speed as to what's going on here, we're going to finish the seat. The hood will get it looking pretty. Then we'll tackle the starter. <laughs> Acetone or a lot of acetone, doesn't matter. Take your pick. Guys, so this is going to be covered with a seat cushion, but I still want to paint this. Otherwise, this is going to end up rusting all over again. Uh, it would appear we have almost a full can of matte black. I'm a fan. Let's move into the paint booth and we'll give Earl Scheib a call. All right, let's get started.
Wow. about 12 hours <laughs> if you know anything about uh, trim clad it takes a while to tack up and or dry maybe I should have done this not right now but we it is what it is we're getting a little late in the day it's almost time for dinner I'm just gonna let this here tack up a little bit give it about an hour or two while I eat I'll throw a second coat on it let it sit overnight We'll be back on it in the morning. I think tomorrow we're going to finish the cleaning process. Nothing better than working on a clean project. So we're going to go through and we're going to get all this here cleaned up. Same with the hood. We're going to get it all cleaned up inside and out. Uh, the motor, we're going to get these wires mounted as well. And we're going to tackle that. We may tackle that starter. I know this thing runs good obviously I drove it in here and you heard it running so it is what it is for some reason the uh, starter doesn't want to engage I've had those days but anyway that's what we're gonna do tomorrow so like I said in about an hour we'll come back and put a second coat on I'm not gonna make you watch that all over again I mean we can all sit here and watch paint dry not sure how much fun that'll be but it is what it is so we're gonna leave it at that and we're gonna see you all in the morning well, it's another beautiful morning. Really? It's another beautiful morning here in southwestern Ontario. The seat turned out not too bad. We got a little bit of a crack there. We're going to put a cushion on here. So, I mean, you don't really want to be sitting on that. A little bit of pockmark here. Nothing to worry about. We did have a USA sticker on the back. I did mask that off. Painted the back. We got a little bit of run here and there. You're not going to see that from the street. Other than that, that looks all looks pretty good. What are we gonna do now? We know it runs, we know it drives. I'm not worried about that. There you are. Gotta play the light, folks. Gotta play the light. We're gonna continue on with the cleaning today because I may or may not have to order a starter. So once we get this thing cleaned up, we're gonna pull the starter off it and see if that indeed is the problem. Um, if the aperture, armature, again, I don't know what it is, if it's not engaging with the flywheel, then we may have to buy a new starter, which is not a big deal. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to take some wipes. We're going to clean this up and see how it ends up looking. You can see it's just greasy under there, a little bit of gas under there. Try and get it looking presentable. Now this is uh, probably not the proper cleaning method for that. I got some Armor All wipes. There's a company that I've been seeing on some channels called Sweet Patina. I believe they're out of Oklahoma don't uh, quote me on that but they make some pretty good hand wipes apparently according to these other guys on the YouTubes I might have to look into that I don't know if it's sold up here in Canada or not actually I'll let you know let's get wiping some stuff down see if we can bring a little bit of shine back to this now what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm probably gonna end up buffing the paint because it doesn't need a paint job got a couple little scratches here and there but that's about it we're not painting it we're just we're just not gonna do it we're gonna keep it original and uh make it look as good as we can that looks good A little dirty. That turned out rather well, eh? So now you see why we're not gonna paint it. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna get the sides done here. Then we're gonna move on to the dirty part. The dirty part. It's all dirty. Then we're gonna move on to the back end and clean that. Well, there we are. The hood's done. Sides done. We got a little bit of scratching over here. No big deal. But other than that, there's no real rust. A little bit of you know rubbing rubbing's no big deal 
The other side looks pretty good as well. We're going to move on to the back. Before we get to the back, I think we need to talk about the elephant in the room. Or should I say the uh, thing in the backyard right there does not look like it uh, belongs here. Because that thing right there is different than that guy in the corner. And then different than that guy in the corner. This guy here, his name is Reaper. Hey, buddy. We have had Reaper for about six days. Not sure when you're watching this, for about six days. We are fostering him. He came from a, uh, a rescue up near Toronto called Maddie's Place. The same place that we got Axel from. And the poor fella, he's about six to eight years old. And he's had a kind of a hard life. He's big. Ain't no question there, he's big. But he's as gentle as they come. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Me, me? All he wants is somebody to love on him, that's all. So, the fostering program, what that does is we keep him. Uh, the rescue pays for his food, his vet, and all that stuff. And we foster him until they can find a forever home for him. I'm not going to lie. He's uh, six short days. He's kind of growing on us here. But he's got some separation anxieties. He's not aggressive at all. Um, and, and from his background, he should have some separation anxieties. But aggression, not at all. He likes Axel. That's not all. That's Diesel. <laughs> he likes Diesel. Likes Axel. They get along. No aggression whatsoever. He's a good dog. He makes somebody a great forever dog. But he is six to eight years old. Anyway, his name is Reaper. Had a hard life. And uh, people say, well, why don't you change his name? You might get Somebody might adopt him if you change his name. That name's all he's got. All right, enough about him. Let's get back to the job at hand here. Because this ain't never going to get done. We got... A little bit of a mess down here. I might have wanted to spray that with a degreaser. If I had one. But I don't have any degreaser here. I got some brake clean. All right, we'll use some brake clean. That'll help loosen that up a little bit. Let's see what Armor All thinks of this. Oh yeah. Nothing a little bit of elbow grease won't take off. Let's get to work. Matte black overspray. go we got the grease all taken off of there probably take a little piece of steel wool and get rid of all that but other than that it shined up pretty good what I'm gonna do now is to see if I can get that starter working where it is worst case scenario we're gonna pull that starter off there's always something going by here worst case scenario I'm gonna pull that starter off and see if I can make it go on the bench if not we're gonna have to order one I think they're about 60 bucks on Amazon that's not really a big deal and uh, we can probably have it here in a day or two. Look at the dark. I got to play the light. There we are. Or there I am. We are done cleaning on the outside of this thing. Didn't do the foot pedals, but we've got this here's all done. The dash has been all cleaned up. Seats painted. We got the back all done up. Now, I was expecting this. Once it dries, the shine's gone. We might get out a little bit of wax because it's not a big surface shouldn't take very long we can get that done in no time so uh, i think our next step is going to be to wax this up and put a little shine on it yeah i'm stalling because i don't want to get into the starter but i know i got to get into the starter i also know i can stall 
This is me stalling. Well, I think I've stalled long enough. To the point where I've gone to get coffee, put some shine on the old machine, just about to put some shine on the tires. I gotta get into the starter. Now I'm hoping it's just the aperture or the Bendix. I've learned a couple new words. Uh, it's just not popping up because it's stuck. Hope it doesn't have to be changed. So we're gonna get the cover off this thing. And then uh, we're gonna see what's going on. All right, well, here we go. So here's our starter here. I pointed that out already. Looks like we've got a uh, fuel line bolt. Oh, I'm back here for the oil spout. And I think there's a couple more on this side over here. I think we got to take this cover here off first. Notice I said think. Let's get to it. bolts that hold the cowl on are 10 millimeter that one was not tight looks like I'm going to need a wrench on that one in the back there well after a little bit of finagling a couple of cuss words and a uh, couple of what fours we got the cover loose and obviously I take the whole front end off just so I could see it was leveling putting a little more light in but we got it off it's basically it's held on by hose over there but look at what we found yeah we got a couple of pieces here which means we're not just gonna oil that thing up and hopefully it works no amount of oil is gonna make that thing work we're gonna have to order a new starter Try and get some of this out of here and there we go. Being ornery. There's uh some of our teeth. That's uh I don't know if that's aluminum or plastic. We're gonna go with plastic. And I'll get the rest of our teeth out of there. Got the rest of the pieces from the old gear out. There's only two. I think the other ones hit the floor here, but this is what we got. This is the uh, dumbest setup I've ever seen a manufacturer do. Obviously, there was somebody that did this was no engineer. There's one screw that holds the starter on over here on the left-hand side. And it is a 13 millimeter. Okay. You can reach it right here. Put an extension on. You're good. The other one that holds it on is right behind here and I can feel it with my finger but it comes straight out and not on an angle so there's no way you're going to reach that with a socket uh, the easiest way to get them out if the starter is completely bad is to just cut this off with a cut this off right down here with a cutting wheel pull that out and then you're done then you can reach that bolt the problem is is you've got to get it back in there now, I did see a guy on the internet that was doing the same thing. Instead of replacing it with just a standard bolt, he used a Torx bolt. That way you didn't have to fan dangle. That's a, that's a big word. Uh, that way you didn't have to fan dangle a socket in there because there's no room for it to even attach to it. Whereas if you had a Torx, it could at least insert and it's slim. It'll get there. But what I'm going to do now, because the starter still works good. I have no issues with the starter other than the gear. I'm going to go online and see if I can just purchase the gear. And then what we'll do is we'll take this here off. And we'll put the gear on. That way I don't have to take the whole thing out. But uh, the teeth on the flywheel look good. Everything else looks good. We'll do a little cleanup while we're in here. There's no sense taking it apart if you're not going to clean it. And uh, so I'm going to go online and I'll see what I can find. So like I mentioned, the uh, starter is not going to be a joyful thing to get off of that bolt where it is so i got looking around the interwebs i'm thinking the starter is good but you just chewed the teeth up on the gear can you replace the gear 
Of course, the answer to that is yes, because I made a quick trip, I ain't done quick about it, but I made a trip to the local parts store in Chatham, Chatham Outdoor Power and Pedal, I think it's called. I picked up a new gear for the starter, 11 bucks. Not bad at all. Question is, how do you change it? So this particular style here, obviously the gear rides on that white plastic there. In here, right below my finger, hopefully you can see that, there's a pin. You pop that pin out, this assembly here comes off, put your gear on, you put this assembly back on, and you put the pin back in. Sounds simple enough, eh? We're about to find out. I'm sure I can make it more difficult than it needs to be. Stand by, you're going to see. I just made a rhyme. So after I managed to convert my screwdriver into a punch, I got the pin out. Me thinking I'm all smart and everything. There's the top half. It just comes off normally. Here's the new gear. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that doesn't fit. Regardless, the starter's got to come out. I guess the joke was on me. All right, leave it to me to work harder, not smarter. Uh, here's what we did. I ended up loosening this bolt. This is for the bottom tray. This bolt right here, took it out. Uh, took my screwdriver. Just pried this up just a little bit because this back bolt, the one that's in behind the shaft, is actually behind the shaft and it's up tight against the bottom tray, so it's tough, tough to get a socket on it. But I managed to get it out. I'm going to take this thing right on out. And we know it's still good. So we're going to put our new gear on it and get it back together. Not too many cuss words later. All we did was screw a sprocket on there. See it rides up and down there. Because you put power to it, the centrifugal force sends all this to the top and away it goes. We install our cap here. Now you see we see a small hole here. Also the small hole here. They need to line up and reinsert the pin. All right, we got our pin back in right here. We got our new gear on. Time to put this thing back together. Well, before I start putting all this back together, obviously I got the starter back in, but before I start putting everything back on, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up what needs to get hooked up. Uh, the cover, I wanna paint the cover so it looks nice. Uh, same with the hood and all the other different stuff there. Being that it's off, I might as well take it apart and paint it up nice. But, uh, the casualty. Look down in here. This is my oil dipstick. Um, I broke it off down there at the motor, so I'm going to have to order another one. It happens. But let me get this thing together and we'll see if it starts. Alright, here goes nothing. Let her eat. whole lot of work for an $11 part but it works and that's all that matters as you can see by outside we have run out of daylight and it is nearing my bedtime but happy it's running again well I think it's gonna be a bit of a change of plans I think I'm gonna call the video there all right next video I think we're gonna carry on with this tractor we're gonna get the engine back together and uh, we'll continue with the shine up and I think hopefully in the next video uh, we can get the deck done Maybe even get it mounted. Maybe even cut a little bit of grass. I doubt it, but we're going to try. So that is going to be it for today's video. I thank you all for joining us. And uh, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button while you're here. We'd love to have you along. We'll see you all in the next one. Later.